Hello, welcome back to the Mark Gennard Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to go over attacking password resets via host header injection. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. What is host header injection? Host header injection is an attack in which an attacker can manipulate the host header and cause the application to behave in unexpected ways. Enjoy what's happening now. Header simpl uh, simply uh, specifies which website should process the HTTP request. The web server uses the value of this header to dispatch the request to the specified website. In short, if any malicious user is able to handle this header to their desired domain, and if server is not validating uh, it, then it leads the, uh, to host header injection. Why host header attack happens? It is an injection type of attack that is done on the HTTP headers. HTTP headers are dynamically generated by um, based on the input of the user. User input can be edited or spoofed by attackers. It is accessible by everyone. If website fails to correctly validate or verify the HTTP, HTTP host headers, right? What is impact of the bug? Web cache poisoning. Attackers poison web cache of the website so anyone who visits the cache page gets infected. Password reset poisoning application usually generate a secret token by using host header functionality. To create the password reset link, they use domains mentioned in the post header in the host header and append it with the password reset token. Attack scenario. The attacker sends a reset password request to another user by modifying the host header in the request with any malicious website. That's weird. The user receives an email to reset the password, clicks the link, and proceeds further with the malicious link. By this way, an attacker can obtain valid password reset token for any user. When the host name is changed from the password reset, there appears a request like this it will pop up on the screen since we have changed the host to attacker host from redacted.com there there we might observe changes in our password reset token url as stated above the reset password url changed and the url looks like as this right it's going to be on the screen the victim will receive the malicious link in their email and when clicked will leak the user's password reset link token to the attacker leading to full account takeover so what is the conclusion what's the what, what, what's the bottom line many application developers did not realize that the http host header is accessible and controllable by all users in an application security perspective the input given by the user is always deceivable and it is unsafe to trust So a web developer should consider host header issues as a serious ongoing threat, which must be inspected deeply. Moreover, we must implement the required mitigation measures to safeguard ourselves. So what is your opinion? I want to know, what do you feel about host header injections and, and what we discussed? Uh, please hit the notification bell. Please hit the subscribe button. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video.